okay, why is it that when something bad happens in the gaming industry, it's always these three? Believe me, Professor, I've been asking myself the same question for six years. Okay, but seriously, in case you missed it or you're confused on the updates around Escape from Tarkov, I've got you. So Battlestate Games, the developers behind Tarkov, announced a new premium edition of the game on April 26th. The unheard edition upgrade was listed at 260 US dollars and included a lot of different pay to win perks. Here are some of the really outstanding perks you could get. An increased starting level of character skills, enhanced stash size, tons of additional equipment and resources, and a distress signal device that will allow all players on your friends list to join your raid. The biggest issue with the new edition was that it included the new PvE mode that would basically be its own game mode that wouldn't be affected by wipes in the main Tarkov mode. But Stella, why is this weird? Isn't it a good thing they're including the new mode? I mean, yes, but actually no. So previously, Battlestate Games had released a different premium edition of Tarkov called Edge of Darkness. This upgrade had been off the market for a few months, most likely to get players to buy the new Unheard edition. In the Edge of Darkness edition, players were promised to receive all future DLC for free, and, well, apparently the PvE mode is not DLC. On Discord, Apple's... Three Zor, I don't know how to say it, uh, Battlestate Games community manager stated that the PvE mode quote ain't DLC. It's a unique feature of the new edition added. DLC means additional downloadable content. PvE is a feature and a game mode. Just because you all want it to become a DLC, it wouldn't mean it is one. It's a featured game mode for the new edition of the game. Ugh, yikes. So here's where it gets really fucked up. Edge of Darkness was only $112.50. The new premium edition is easily double that cost. If you own the Edge of Darkness edition, you can upgrade to the new edition for $100, but I don't think anyone will be doing that now. The Battlestate COO and studio head Nick Buyanov took to Reddit to say that Edge of Darkness owners would eventually get access to the PvE mode when Escape from Tarkov fully launches. Wow, what a treat. I mean, this game has only been in beta since July 27th, 2017. Seven years of development and it's still in beta with no reason to ever fully launch because players have been enjoying it and still playing with Tarkov in beta. No game ever truly needs to fully release, especially when you have monetization in place, that's been giving you some good income. Tarkov is a pretty clear indicator of being a game with absolutely no intention of fully releasing anytime soon. Anyways, Buyanov went back to Reddit to apologize by saying, let me continue my feedback on the current situation. First of all, I would like to say that I'm very sorry that fans and the game community in general are experiencing these feelings. However, I somehow did not foresee the fact of such a reaction, and now I have drawn conclusions for my future decisions. About the Unheard Edition, we will not remove it. We want to keep the option for those who want to support the game mode. About the Unheard Edition, we will not remove it, we want to keep the option for those who want to support the game more, but we will balance items, perks in this edition, as well as provide more rewards for those who upgraded with the old price. New EOD perks will be balanced too, we will remove prioritized matching option to keep everyone in the same spot, and we will add more unique stuff to highlight the EOD version in general. We will provide the final list of the new EOD perks ASAP. Hey, um, yeah, so I'm not sure about y'all, but that is not an apology. It's really not an apology at all. It's more of a statement that you feel justified in doing what you're doing and that you're fine dying on this hill for it. It's actually really wild that Battlestate Games has only doubled down on their stance when the community backlash has been so loud and incredibly overwhelming. Do you know how disconnected they have to be to not care this much? They genuinely could not give a shit. And like I said, there's no real reason for them to ever release this game. Buyanov did state in an interview with the streamer Pestily that Tarkov would launch its 1.0 release in June or July of 2024. So this year, but honestly, who knows? There's no official release date and there was no confirmation of the release window either. But here's the thing, the game is already released. You can slap beta on it all you want, but the game is out. You can purchase content for it with your real money. The game is out. You're actively profiting from it and you've had a player base for seven years. Honestly, that's the reason this is such a shame that Battlestate decided to just fuck everything up. And they fucked over their community that they built over a ridiculously priced premium edition. Good thing Tarkov isn't the only extraction looter shooter anymore. I know a lot of people are looking at Grey Zone Warfare now, which is another early access game, but I mean, whatever, you can't win all the battles. How do you feel about the Tarkov premium bundle? Are you gonna be checking out Grey Zone Warfare? Let me know. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.